Here we go. Stuart Hogg, the skipper, gets the Scots underway. And it's immediately cleared by Willie LaRue, reinstalled to the fullback shirt. A man who scored two tries against Scotland, once nominated for World Player of the Year. And the line out will be a key area, as will both major set pieces. Pierre Schumann at the front of that line out, and the Scots worked a really good line out that led to the Hamish Watson try last week. Good little shift drive, it caught the Australians out, and Finn Russell's caught out there. First scrum of the game and heavily celebrated by Bongi and Bonambi. Stay on, boys. But no points on the board for South Africa despite this huge dominance. Finn Russell, again, he's the man under pressure. And it's two hands down to Melba. Another former South African under 20 years away. Five tries for the Lions in the summer series. And at last, an advantage goes to Scotland on the halfway line. And wouldn't it be the most bizarre of things? If Scotland could take the lead here. 15 minutes of sustained pressure by the Springboks. But it's that inability to convert those points. Scoring opportunities. The line-out has been... Driving Maul has been pacified. And there's these crucial turnovers. Should have played like I play, I think Finn was saying. He landed the penalty that beat Australia last week. And he lands the penalty that took Scotland into the lead, as they say in football, very much against the run of play. And now Yankees. Another one for Scotland to deal with in the air through Duhan van der Merwe, ball in one hand. He's, he's confident, isn't he? And you're always confident when somebody hits you in the face, as Mike Tyson said. And he got, he got hit by Evan Atzebeth. Now Gilchrist. And it's been fumbled again. Here's Am. It's been so superb for South Africa in that 13th shirt. Started six games in the World Cup, and this time it's South Africa's turn to be driven back. So off the back foot, they attack again. Dialendi. Here's Khaleesi. Here's Mpimpi. And Mpimpi will score for South Africa. His 18th try in just his 24th test match. Vili Leroux seeing the space. Damien de Allende, Sia Kalusi doing exceptionally well, and then it's just the pace by Mark Pimpi. Anything in the background there, boys? Yeah. Having a check here on the yep. pass. Back out of the hands. Looks, looks yep. fine. Yep. Backwards out of the Both hands. Back out of the hands. Not even Stuart Hogg can haul in the boys flying Makazolo Mark Pimpi. Yep. All good. Look, it's happened again, it's happened again. They've got the ball away quickly enough, but they were being driven backwards at pace once more. Matt Scott brought in for his ball carrying. Exceptional form for Leicester this season, who are top the English Premiership with eight wins from eight. Ali Price to Finn Russell, a bit of space on the outside. Little kick pass for Russell to Duhan van der Merwe. And now Stuart Hogg, they keep the ball in play well. Now Russell really is fractured play here unstructured from advantage. scotland Five. advantage scotland getting it this time tackle penalty only price russell's players all over the place not seeming in any particular shape but again it's duhan van der Merwe who takes it now stuart hogg on the inside this is where scotland can cause so much damage duhan van der Merwe to harris looking for price on the inside but it's stuart hogg who rumbles away to score underneath the post. The opportunity for Match got to take it forward and then was a bit held to Skelter, a bit of touch rugby. Finn Russell twice with the cross field kick. And then it's the offloads. That could be marginally forward. Lovely offload by Duan van der Chris Harris coming in. Ball goes backwards off green. Yeah, I've got to make so The four officials between them, the referee and the TMO, the two important ones, of course, they have given it a big green tick. And the man who should be in blue playing in white today, Scotland. And here come One, the bomb squad right on half One, time. Yeah. Malcolm Marks and, and Kitsoff yeah. are on the field already. This is a fascinating call by Rassi Erasmus and his coaching team, especially when you look at the, the dominance that we've seen from 
that man, Oxen Che. And Valshan Cock is on too, so it's, it's the entire okay. front row bomb squad that took wheels apart in that last 20 minutes in Cardiff last week. But why do it now? Fascinating. Here's McAnally. Can Scotland get another score before half time? Remember absorbing so much pressure in the first 20 minutes. South Africa not taking advantage of it with points on the board. And away goes McAnally. The Timpy eventually got a try. They might get a penalty here. They will. And Scotland can extend their lead into the break. And deciding to go to touch was the right decision. So Finn Russell to put Scotland into a 13-8 half-time lead, eh? It's another opportunity missed by Finn Russell. Another opportunity Fancy missed by wait, Scotland. And here we go on a perfect day in Murrayfield. And it's Matt Fagerson, his 13th start in the number eight shirt for what was Scotland. Yep. And Elizabeth gets through on Ali Price. Gets off as the ball. What an important steal that might be. For the Springboks, Vincent Koch, the bomb squatter away here. Here's Reinach. Now Damien Dialendi cuts a nice against the green line. Challenging that Scotland defence. And challenged again. Matt Scott makes a good tackle. But the ball is recycled pretty quickly for Kobus Reinach to use. Sealing. And sealing off South Africa. That was what. Stuart Hogg was speaking to the referee about in the first half. Number 18, sealing off. Holding front wide. Back to Stuart Stop. Hogg. No, it's 23 tries okay, for Scotland. One short of the record held by two players. Tony Stanger, Ian Smith. Here's Matimpe. 18 tries now for South Africa. Hold in front. That's Yankees. Duhan van der Marva under the high ball, pressured under the high ball, and does well to recollect it. And then it's ripped away by South Africa. Off goes Am. Haven't seen too much of Am in the game so far. It's supreme outside centre, both in attack and in organising that defence. Willie Larue now, and here is Yankees on the outside. Damien Dialendi. Oh, great pace, and there's not Dembe. That is exceptional rugby from the Springboks. It's supersonic stuff. And once more, they've exploited that wide channel. That's where they find the space. Mark. Yeah, just to explain. that ball. And then they're running onto the ball with pace. Okay. Outpacing his defender, fixing Hogg with the final offload. And a brace for Makuzolo Mapimpi. What's all this nonsense about South Africa just being a bashing physical team? I mean, two wonderful tries today from uh, so, so Magazzoli Mapimpe. And here's a bit more of that physical stuff. Malcolm Marks. Is there a better replacement hooker in the business? Probably the best starting hooker in the business. But of course, he's used by South Africa as part of that bomb squad at the moment as his kits off. Here's Reinach. Now Creel, remember he's on his 50th, 50th appearance here for South Africa. Another penalty, they're closing in on double figures now, Scotland. In that respect, Vincent Cock with a carry. And it's a new advantage. Here is Kobus Reinach. Oh, he can snipe and he can dart and he can beat defenders. He's got those lively feet and real pace off the mark. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey boys, relax. Hey, 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 it's OK. Yeah, boys, it's OK. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boys, I can't play on. You're off. Please, Mr. Gardner has got the smile there. The See ya. Trying to keep the peace. There's a seatbelt tackle, which is a penalty only here in the middle. Or you've and got Scotland six again, once just on the 15. Not rolling. Put under pressure, Field starting to give away the, the penalties okay. in this red zone, in this defensive zone. Okay, just slipped up. Seatbelt tackle, penalty only. 46 and 45 points in the stadium. Unlikely to do that today. Much tighter affair this time around, and Yankees makes it. 18-10. Only Price waits, finds Hamish Watson. 
Clare has got an incredible ability to beat the first couple of defenders. Oh, that's high, definitely high by Am. Just a PK. Another seatbelt one from... I've seen it. It's over the shoulder Good and reaction. Tackle again. Great technique so by Kalisi. Oh, Price. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, oh, the very high from Lucanio. Um, see the intention by Scotland. They want to raise the intensity, the pace of the game. They don't want to be dragged into the gutter with the string up forwards. And have a real slog out. They want to raise the game. They want to have a super rugby type of approach. Sorry. And with that approach, they got the opportunity to get the penalty with Lucanio um, transgress, transgressing with a high tackle. Well, the Scots have definitely looked at their best when they've uh, come at the box with a more scattergun approach. And that's how they scored their Stuart Hogg try. Now, remember the, the, the try they scored against Australia? A little set play move. Gilchrist it was at the front. It was a shift drive on that occasion. This is a more traditional route from Scotland. Ali Price We're going to use the backs early here. Here's Ben Russell. Two hand on the member. Can he get it outside? He can. Stuart Hall is going to score. And equal the all time Scotland try scoring record. He does join Tony Stanger. We've been spoiled for some of a remarkable play. Look at the inventive this man. Duan van der just holding back the space behind. Behind uh, Finn Russell, getting his hands free, and then it's just a foot race for Stuart Hogg. Out sprinting Krubus Reinach, who's the scrum off. Tigerson. Diego Mullen still working hard at 35. And they're over the ball here. They're right over the ball. They're right on top of the Scotland ball carriers. Applying the boa. Pollard, this time yes, and now it is a nine-point lead. Here's Reinach. Reinach and uh, Pollard, now both of them on Pelly, eh? so the halfbacks playing the rugby in the French top 14. Here's Kebble, up against his countrymen. Has it been stolen again? No, it hasn't. They've protected it better on this occasion. Ali Price doing the refereeing, and Angus Gardner telling him you've refereed it incorrectly, mate. And Malcolm Marks, he is one of the... This front row, replacement front row, like last week, it's just been immense. More mature. That's it. Bearded. Rough. And ready to launch a long one for South Africa and do what France Steen has done all through his career. Those bombs from halfway, straight through the post. He might have grown facial hair, but the one thing that didn't change, 50 metres plus, he is so accurate, so dependable. Lennox feeds a very tight scrum. Jasper Visa of Leicester Tiger. Oh, there's the penalty. Again at the scrum. They'll play this advantage. Hamish Watson has it, but it's right underneath the post. And yep. all they got to do is tip quit. the ball over here now to get this game to 30 points, and it will be good night Scotland with low percentages, but he should get this one, and he does. And South Africa stretch out to 30 points. And the player of the match takes that line out. 15 seconds to go. Double scores, tennis score, 30-15. Game set and match, South Africa. Use it. Yep, no problem. He didn't change his mind. Seven, move! No need for a tiebreaker here. Yep. Only one winner, and it's the box. It Clock's in the red. Felice shields, and that's a bad Please play of the match. Why, why not? Do it all, do everything, Big Evan. Carry, tackle, smash people about. Bully, kick, and uh, Rassi Erasmus, another victory to him, and Jack Nanabar. And Stuart Hogg, despite two tries from him, two wonderful tries as well. It's the home side, Scotland, who've been vanquished.
by the world champions and winners of course of the Lions series the final score here at Murrayfield Scotland 15 South Africa a convincing 30